Good morning, everybody. Chris Neal Disc Golf here. Hope everybody's doing good. It's about six o'clock in the morning. Getting ready to go to work. And as always, I always stop at the course and do a little field work or throw. I'd actually planned on bringing my Rip Revenge cards today. And I was going to play like a six hole challenge, Rip Revenge against myself. Um, I'll probably still do that. Maybe tomorrow, film it and post it next week. But for today, I'm just gonna set up the camera and um, just video some shots and I'll just put together 10 or 15 uh, highlight shots. I won't make this a long video, but uh, maybe a couple of putts and uh, two or three ace run holes out here. So, Trailer Tears Park, back nine. Uh, it's wet, it's cold, um, but I'm gonna film some shots. Working on the forehand, it still sucks. All right, so took a bird on the first hole. Not bad for I threw maybe seven or eight shots warming up, but uh, the next hole is a little safari hole that we made up. 11 long tee pad to 16 basket. It might be a 150 foot shot. It's just fun to throw discs at it. So I'm gonna try a new disc on this hole. I usually throw a TD, start turn over to the right, but uh, I forgot I had this TD2 in one of my other bags um, back before I knew really how, how to get a good turnover. Um, so I'm gonna try it. It may end up in the woods. That TD2 shot was pretty good. Um, I didn't quite put the snap on it that I normally do when I'm throwing a turnover. Just because I remember that disc maybe being a little too flippy and I was worried I'd cut it over into the woods. But uh, it actually had a really good line and just a little more snap, it would have held that line a little longer and probably been in the circle. I think I'm in the circle anyway, but definitely kind of did what I expected, I guess you could say. So I'll play around with it a little more. I didn't have to put as much force on it as I do my TD to, to get the distance out of it. That was like a 40% power. So if I can replace my TD for the shot like that, using less energy to throw it, I just think that'll just save my save my stamina for a, for a round. Especially a uh, tournament coming up is gonna be at Big Mar in Madisonville, a lot of elevation there. So anything I can do to save a little energy for the entire round will be good. Oh. All right, so Wandering Wednesday. I didn't get a chance to put anything on last week. Uh, my son turned 16. We had to make appointments to go get his permit test, then another appointment to get his actual permit. Then we had to go uh, make a road trip to pick up a car. Uh, we got him a new car, or not new, but got him a car. Um, 
So that's really cut down on my extra time that I have just to goof off of the camera. Um, but anyway, Wondering Wednesday this week is about tournament preparation. So, do you prefer to prepare for a tournament playing rounds by yourself, um, casual practice, you know, two or three shots per lie, figuring out what disc you need, or do you like to just go out and play scoring rounds with your friends? The reason I ask is because in my practice rounds, the last couple of tournaments, I have shot significantly better than at the tournament. Um, I don't really necessarily feel like I got nerve problems. You know, I'm not like nervous or jittery. Maybe a little adrenaline the first couple of holes, but I settle in. So I don't know if the problem is when you're out by yourself and your mind just completely clear um, and you really think things through. But then when you're with people, you know, like for me anyway, if I'm on a card and I go to my live, I feel this really weird feeling that everybody's waiting on me. So I think I rush a little. So is it better to practice with people? That way you're practicing that way or to go out and practice by yourself. So drop your comments below and let me know what you think. Um, I tend to practice by myself like I do in the mornings to really get my tournament situation down, like my discs, all that stuff. Um, but I, I play rounds with friends too. Um, we do a scoring round before a tournament. Um, but it's people that I play with all the time. So I don't know, I'm just curious. I'm curious if there's something to that. Maybe it's not, maybe I just had a bad day, but it seems like every tournament I throw two or three strokes per round worse than my average and about four strokes worse than my practice rounds. My solo practice rounds are my best rounds ever. Like this morning, I'm shooting like four down through six holes, even though one hole is a made up hole. So really three down, three down through five. But in the tournament, I shot three over. So anyway, I'm just curious. All right, so that's it for today. I don't know if I got any good footage at all. Um, I really wish I'd brought my Rip Revenge card. That was gonna be a pretty cool video. Uh, so my plan for that, Rip Revenge, stay tuned for that because that's gonna be the next video, is I'm gonna play six hole challenge. I'm gonna draw six cards from the beginning and each hole, I have to play that card on myself. If it's a before all T, then I'll do it before T. If it's an anytime card, then I'll use that on my upshot. So that could be fun. Like I said, six holes, just because that's all the time I have in the morning, really, if I'm doing something like that. Um, we'll play 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 18. That'll make a pretty good little circle where I can get back to the car in time to get changed and go to work. Anyway, um, if this video makes it onto my channel, I appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, share it, whatever you want to do. Um, I'm going to try to grow this channel. I've kind of taken the last month off as far as like really aggressively trying to grow the channel just because I had my home course tournament. I do got four more tournaments coming up, but they're out of town tournaments. So I'm gonna go hit those courses like the weekend before, and then maybe try to get there a day early and play around. But I won't be doing any filming or anything of those practice rounds like I did out here. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try to get some more content on here. So anyway, thanks for watching.